I'd like to talk a little bit before I bring Mark up here. It's very common in open-air preachers to use words like, I was really grieved. Oh, it really hurt me. Come on. Oh, I feel like crying when I saw this. Yeah. <laughs> Call me callous, but I don't give a flying flip what you Come on. Think. Yeah. yeah. I don't care less what you think. Yeah. You want to win people like me over, talk about God. Amen. God was grieved. Amen. I don't care about you and how you felt emotional wreck. I don't. I, I've seen some street <laughs> preachers that almost give a a waiver before they start preaching. Right. Uh, Come on. I, I I'm here because I love you. Come on. I, I'm here because I've done this. We don't find anybody in the Bible who walked around and introduced how much they love sinners. That's right. That's right. Uh, Jonah never walked in Nineveh saying, you people have no idea what it took to bring me here. Come on. <laughs> Call me callous, but I can give a blind <laughs> Come on. what you went through to walk the streets and preach. Amen. Hey, Amen. I'd love to be with my wife today. I'd love to walk my dog. But the heathen don't need to know that. Come on. Yeah. I'm not going to tell heathen how much I love them. If I'm going to talk about love, talk about God's love. Yes. Yes. But it's very common in Christianity for them, before they start talking, to explain how much they love them. Who gives a flying flip what you had to go through? That's right. We can all talk about the problems that we came to, to Vegas and, and they're all over the board. But we're not here. If somebody's going to come to Jesus because of my love, that person's not going to probably follow God very yeah, soon. That's right. right. Amen. It's got to be the love of God. Amen. But it's very common in Christianity. In some camps, you're more spiritual. That's right. you, you've got so much love if you just... Right. You guys don't know how much I love you. Right. I don't care if they think I love them. Yeah. I'll take, in fact, I remember one time telling a, a pastor, let's take a lie detector test. Hey, you really don't think I love them? I'll put up $5,000. Yeah. And if I'm wrong, I'll donate it to your charity. If I'm right, you cover the lie detector and you donate it to my uh, charity. But I'm not here to tell you about my love. That's, 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 that's irregardless. I'm here to preach what God says. Amen. But it's very common in Christianity. Oh, I was so heartbroken. Who cares what you think? Yeah. I'm more concerned about God was grieved. Amen. That's right. Amen. You preach what God says. That motivates me to go out, not me. Amen. I'm yeah. not there to talk about me. Come on. I'm there to represent God. Amen. You people yeah. grieve God. Not necessarily what I think. Who cares what I think? Amen. Doesn't matter what I think. Doesn't matter what I had to get through to come here. How about inserting God? But it's very common in open air preaching for a guy before he starts his message, how much I love you. You guys don't know how much I love you. You don't know what I've done to come here. You don't know what, I... who cares? Amen, yeah. that's right. I understand it's it's very spiritual and you might sound like a, a God-loving, uh, filled with joy, but who cares? We don't find anybody who walked in the streets in the Bible that had to talk about how much I love you. Yeah. You don't find John the Baptist's disciples saying, but he loved them so much when he lost their head. <laughs> who cares? You're going right. to be hated. You're going to be persecuted. I can care less what you think of me. My whole core is what God thinks of you. Amen. That's the whole purpose. Uh, uh, people have assumed that I'm hateful and horrible. I don't spend time trying to defuse my name. Uh, you look up Reuben Israel, Los Angeles, there's a million things going on with my name attached to it. <laughs> I don't invest in that. If they wish to choose and, and think that way, that's fine. All I know is God's kept me alive for 35 years uh, to give a particular message. Amen. And so I can care less what people think of me. Amen. My name has been ruined anyway. It's what God says. I'm not concerned. I don't want to try to convince the heathen how much I love them and pamper them. 
and give him a group hug and burp him over my shoulder. Come on. I'm not concerned about you. And I understand in some churches, wow, man, he really loves them. But when you run with guys like me, it's not going to affect me. We shouldn't worry ourselves whether the heathen know we care for them. Yeah, that's right. The reality is we're there to represent God, not, uh, not pamper their ears. Amen. And so uh, oftentimes it's very common, and it probably will uh, be a bit more common, uh, that uh, street preachers are going to, I'm not like them. I've been with preachers. Where they will say, I'm not like them. That's right. Come on. I love you. I, right. I don't have signs right. like them. Right. Rather than saying, uh, you know, maybe God's raised me to give a different message, but yes. they want to make a gulf in between us right. and them. Yeah. Uh, I'm not there to let the heathen know I love them. Like I said, if I'm going to tell them about love, it's going to have God's name. That's right. Not who I am and how much I care, but it's very common. It's almost infeminine. For yeah. men to walk around right. saying, how much I really care. That's and right. oh, it just grieved me when I saw that. Who cares what you think? That's yeah. right. Since Amen. when did I start word rotating my life about what you think? Yeah. How about being concerned with God says? Amen. Boy, that's a motivating thing. You yeah. people grieved God's spirit. That's motivating. You people angered a holy God. Not so much you don't realize what I had to do to come out here. Who cares? Right, amen. Uh, and you're not going to get a grub hug from Uncle Reuben. Uh, you know, man your position and do what you're supposed to do. Be motivated by God. God should motivate you. Uh, and like I talked earlier today, Christianity is not a glamorous religion. Uh, it started off with John the Baptist who lost his head. Our, our Messiah died in between two thieves at a dump site. The guy that, uh, the man that uh, betrayed him committed suicide. The other, the other ten disciples died a variety of deaths. So there's nothing glamorous about Christianity. That's right. But do not oh, go out of your way to tell people, oh, I, just, I just really care about you. And I understand in some churches, that's, that's a very good thing to do. But in the Bible... Hey, those guys didn't walk around. You think the two witnesses that walked around... Uh, we're trying to justify what they had to say. Man, they, they, their words were fire. Right. Their words were fire. They weren't out there trying to explain to everybody, this is our motive, brother. Uh, who cares what people think? You need to be faithful to God. And you, if you're going to be concerned about love and emotion, be concerned about what God thinks. God yeah. has emotion. Yeah. God actually has emotion. He's angry. He's happy. He's jealous. We're made after His image and likeness. The same emotion that you have, we're wired with from God. Of course, His is much more righteous. But uh, nobody ever thinks that God was grieved. There's a Bible verse where God says, I never thought you would do that. It never entered into my mind. Right. Look at what you've done. Right. How about somebody being emotionally involved with God doing that? Yes. Oh, Rather yeah. than them saying, but I, I just love you. Mm -hmm. uh, before I preach, let me tell you what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. Who cares Amen. what yeah. you went through? Right. I can care less if you uh, uh, had a broken leg and you had to crawl to preach. Uh, Jonah didn't go into Nineveh trying to explain why he's there in Nineveh. He was just obedient to God. And he conveyed the message that God wanted done. Amen. So uh, chew on that. 